Okay, guys. So today again we have a mock test with one of our training. So he has prepared FI2 MM integration, FI2 SD, P2P, OTC, IDOCS, and DME. So we are conducting mock tests for only these areas because these are the topics we finished up so far. Okay, let's discuss on uh, interview mock uh, test. Hi, how are you? Yeah, fine, sir. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say one thing. Don't uh, say about your client details and uh, your name. You should modify your name, right? Okay, yeah. let's start the demo. Uh, so tell me about yourself. Yeah, I said good afternoon. This is Anil. I have over six years of experience and which out of four years of experience in SAP FICO. I have involved in one implementation and to, in, to support projects. In implementation, my client is XYZ Limited. It involves in the manufacturing of cement and it aggregates uh, like ready to mix concrete like that. After implementing the project in that client, I have supported the same project for another one year. Basically, I have involved in the GL, AP, AR, and some integration points with the FIT NM and FIT SD integration. And the concepts like DM and IDAX also I have involved in the implementation phase. Currently, I am with the support project with the XYZ Lifter, which is a uh, trading business, which, in, which involves in the trading of uh, different different products like grocery products, prices, and pulses, like f and vegetables, and like uh, apparels and household articles also. It currently it has different different operations in different countries. In India, India also it has its own operations. In India, it, it operations in around 27 business areas. So okay. currently, I am supporting the same project. Okay, so currently you are into support project, right? Correct. Okay, so tell me what kind of uh, critical tickets um, that you handled recently? Yeah, recently means I have involved in the some critical top uh, uh, ticket like yes, in asset accounting. Mm -hmm. In asset accounting, they have uh, come with the ticket like uh, at the time of uh, creating the asset master, they have entered the long useful wrong uh, useful life. Okay, then then uh, with the same asset, they have to do uh, using the uh, uh, calculating the depreciation also. For that asset, the 150 year is also closed. Now they they want to change the useful life of the asset. The, the, that is the ticket that I have received. Okay. Yeah, we have given for this case, we have two uh, resolutions. If the asset is using created in the same finance year, will the, the Okay, your voice is zero two. Yeah. Though there is no nothing to do with the asset master remaining remaining uh, uh, apart from that. Mm -hmm. If the typically it is closed for the same asset, but uh, in that case you need to do the depletion write up in AB T code. Okay. In in for this we can do the resolution in, in a separate. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so uh, you are into support project, right? Uh, so yes. what is the CR process in your company? Yeah, if the if the ticket is received for that, if you need to do any changes to the uh, to the configurations, we ask the user to raise the CR. So mm -hmm. yeah, when the user raises the CR, we need to uh, we need to take the approval from the TL to modify in the development line. Uh, after, after getting the approval from the TL, we are changing the development configurations based on the user requirement. Then we can change the configurations according to that. OK, so for the preparation of this here, uh, like uh, uh, any attachments that you need to update in your system? For no, CR? No, 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 I don't know. OK. OK, so you are participated in FI2 SD integration related uh, errors. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. At the time of billing document, if you are getting any errors, mm -hmm. we are resolving that. At the time of billing document, uh, what kind of errors that you are facing? Maybe at the time of yeah, at the time of creating the customer master, if the user uh, master data governance team forget to enter the customer assignment group mm -hmm. at the time, so we won't get the billing document. Mm -hmm. 
we need to tell the user to maintain the customer account to awesome and good. Okay. And uh, yeah, at that time, the metal master also, if they may not maintain the metal assignment group, the error will appear. Okay. Apart from that assignment, any other uh, errors that you have seen? No, as far as I don't think. Okay, any tax related? No, no, no. Okay. So tell me some of the account keys uh, in SAP FITSD integration. And there are some account keys are there, right? Yeah, ERL is for revenue. ERM is private. Uh, private. ERS is for sales deduction. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is all that. What is ERP? ERP. ERB. ERB. E, e stands for elephant. ERB. Deduction discount. No. Okay. So tell me what is the entry for PGI? Past of goods sold account to two inventory account to the goods account. Okay. So what is the transaction key for uh, cost of goods sold? Yeah, GBB is the transaction key and the general modifier is VAX. Okay. So tell me some offsetting, uh, tell me some uh, account modifiers. GBB, PRD, KON. Okay. Okay. What is the difference between KOFI and the KOFK condition types in VKOM? Okay. KFI is if the sales uh, if the sales is going going from FI to SD, then we can use KOFI. Uh, but if we want to, if the sales order costing is implemented and CO, then we will take the KOFK. Okay. Uh, so, have you participated in IDOC uh, configurations or any IDOC issues? Yes, I have, I have some knowledge on IDOC. Okay, so what kind of uh, IDOC issues you have dealt? Um, like if the, IDOC, if the data is not for the transfer to port, then we need to, if there is any partner profile error issues or is any port issues, we need to contact the basis team to resolve the particular issues in technical type of issues. Okay, how the partner types have been classified? It's like uh, for uh, customer Q is the partner, for LI is for vendor, for LS is for logical systems. Okay, so I want to delete the IDOC, uh, list of the IDOCs. I have 10 IDOCs are there, I want to delete from the system. So what should I do right now? We need to run a program using SC38. Mm -hmm. RSCX, ARCD is the program name. You can directly okay. delete the IDAC. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me what are the records uh, we have in IDOCs? Yeah, we have mainly three, uh, three types of records in IDAC. One is mm -hmm. control record, data record, and status record. In control record, we can see the IDAC type, message type. Okay. Information. The data will be stored in the EDIDC table. Mm -hmm. In the data records, we can see the uh, segments and its fields, and that means what are the data we are sending. Mm -hmm. It is stored in the DDID D table and EDID 4 table. And the okay. status records, what is the exact the status of the IDAC? We can see there. EDID S is the table name. Okay. So, have you configured a partner profile? Uh, yes. Okay, what kind of message type CO was uh, given in the partner profile time creation? Sorry? So what kind of messages, what kind of message types that we need to give yeah, in? Uh, if you are, yeah, yeah. Mac mask, if mm -hmm. you want to send the material master, dev mask, if you want to send the customer master records, free mask, if you want to send the vendor master records, mm -hmm. then orders, if you want to send the POs to the vendors, orders is the message type. Okay. So what exactly is the difference between W19 and BD87? Yeah, BD87 is you know, if you want to reprocess the failed IDA, you can directly mm -hmm. process the same from the BD87. Okay. And W19. 
So your voice is uh, so is the different IDAC number for the same successful IDAC also we can say. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, W910 is uh, if you want to send the same IDAC with a different IDAC number, we can use the W19. We mm -hmm. can modify the IDAC fields also from W19. Okay. Okay. So you are also participate in configuration of uh, DME, right? Uh, correct. Yes. Okay. So what exactly the difference between uh, IDOCs and the DME is? Yeah, DME is the file data medium exchange which is used to uh, send the payment details to the bank. So if you want to make the payments directly from the bank itself. And the IDAC is the intermediate document which is uh, send the information to the vendors or anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to send the same master records or transaction records to the different partners, you can use the IDAC. Okay. So tell me some of the applications uh, where uh, IDOC should be used. What? Yeah, tell me some of the examples uh, where IDOC should be used. In which cases? Yeah, if you want, yeah, if you want to send the material master data to the logical systems, we can use IDOC. So in different uh, logical system from one SAP to another SAP. Okay. Unless you want to send the PO, PO confirmation PO to the vendor, you can use IDAC. Okay. So create a logical system, right? So logical should be assigned to client. Okay. So what kind of clients are uh, there in your uh, client? Yeah, development. In yeah. under development, we have sandbox and golden golden client. For quality, we have quality for testing purpose. And in production, you have production plan. Okay. Okay. So, uh, regarding DME, what kind of file format uh, that you was uh, implemented? Yeah, we have copied the standard SAP like a SIPA underscore CT. That is the format we have copied, and mm -hmm. we have modified the as uh, per the business and bank requirements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the format is SIPA underscore CT. So what kind of bank requirements that you have modified or that you have changed in your what uh, are the, Yes, uh, in the SIPA format, uh, if the vendor mobile number is required, or mm -hmm. if the vendor email ID is required, I1. Okay. Numbers. So for which cases, the same. The, for which cases user exists uh, should be considered which? Yeah, for the for the uh, in the standard structures like FPAYH, FPAYHX, and FPAYP. In, in all the three structures, if you want to, if you are not getting any uh, fields apart from that, we can use the user exits. For example, for user exits, we can use for mobile number and email IDs of the mm -hmm. vendors. Okay. So for which cases generally we will connect uh, for a wrapper? Hello. Your voice is not audible. Hello. 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 Yes. Can you hear me? Your voice is not audible. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? So you are in mute. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Please Hello. speak up. Yes. 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 I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Just, just go ahead. I think uh, he was left. Yes. Uh, can you hear me right now? Hello. 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 I'm, I'm yes, audible yes. now. Yes, yes, you are audible. Okay, tell me uh, generally which cases generally you will connect to your ABAPR. In case of implementing user agencies, we need to help you to write the logic in the functional module. 
Okay. Yeah, for DME, there is a standard functional module is DME underscore exit underscore template underscore extended is the functional module. Mm -hmm. We can connect with the same. Uh, see, your voice is not audible. Breaking. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, please. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. In order to implement the user exit, in the user exit, if you want to write any program to the getting the mobile numbers and uh, email IDs, we need Ababur help. Mm -hmm. In that case, we are connected to Ababur. Okay. So, have you involved any functional spec writing? Yeah, this is the for this only we have involved in the functional specifications and for the <laughs> any reports if required from the business. Okay. Apart from the standard reports, we can involve in the functional specification documents. Okay, so okay, fine. Now, it's a general question like uh, how the functional specification should be prepared, what kind of content we can see in uh, FS. Yes, what are the uh, uh, who is prepared uh, this uh, functional specification document? Who is the project manager? Who is approver and who is the reviewer? The basic data will be there in the FS. Uh, next, what are the requirements from the business? We need to gather the requirement from the business. One need to that means what are the selection criteria that business want to enter when generating a report? Mm -hmm. That is the basic thing. Later, we need to write the logic. How the, uh, and the, what is the output that the business wants to know? In the okay. report. Based on that, we oh. need to write a logic and given the buffer. Okay, you said uh, SIPA payments, uh, uh, right? So for which payment? You, yes. say you said uh, uh, the format you was implemented SIPA under the first city that you copied and modified yes, according yes. to the business requirement, right? So what right. kind of payment methods that you was uh, uh, implemented for this SIPA payment? Yes, SIPA is implemented for domestic payments mm -hmm. implemented. For which country? For which bank? Uh, it is uh, related to German based company. Okay. Ditches, Ditches Bank. It is, mm -hmm. it is a German based bank. Okay. Okay. So, um, like, uh, what kind of uh, uh, company, what kind of client yours? It's a manufacturing or product based or which one? Which uh, a, you have implemented, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. So, it's a manufacturing yeah. based company. It's, it's manufacturing. Okay. So tell me what kind of uh, procurements are there in your company? Yeah, they are procuring the stones to uh, ready the cement and to ready the ready to mix concrete. Mm -hmm. They are purchasing the raw material. OK. Yeah, yeah they are, for example, they're raising the requirement from uh, getting the requirement from, uh, from the PR team, requisition team. Mm -hmm. Based on that, uh, he raised the PO. MMA user will raise the PO. OK. Based on that, uh, uh, we are getting the sub uh, materials from the supplier. Okay. Yeah, we are doing the MMA is doing the NY certification. Later we mm -hmm. are making the payments to the vendor. Later we are doing mm -hmm. the reconciliation. Okay. And at the time of uh, PO creation, we need to use ME21 decode. Mm -hmm. There is no accounting entry in that area. At okay. the time of uh, goods receipt, we have entry using MIG decode. Mm -hmm. At the time of uh, Imago, we have entry like uh, inventory account at R2, GRR clearing account. Mm -hmm. At the time of invoice creation by using MIGO, MIRO, <laughs> it is the GRR clearing account to vendor account. Okay, what kind of uh, special procurements are there in your client? Any special procurements? Like, you know, subcontracting, consignment? No, no. Okay. Stock transfer orders. Like that, any special in, 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 for that you need STO to. STO is there. STO, STO is there internally transfer from one plant to another plant. Mm -hmm. So, is there any account assignments like account determination for Fast STO? Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, right. All right. Uh, thank you very much. It's the end of the interview. So, have you attended any interviews so far? No, sir. I'm not yet. I'm still preparing okay. and uh, searching for the clients. You know, okay. to implement uh, nice the Yeah, nice explanation.